Hello everybody, my name is Anton Ivanov. I'm from Art of Photo Company, St. Petersburg. Today I'm gonna print at the darkroom from large format negative 5 by 7 inches silver gelatin print and I will show you some very basic tools for burning and dodging and uh, I will explain how to improve your image. I prepare four and a half liters fresh developer. We use very famous Silbera stop solution. So I am ready to print some test prints. Here I have a fresh developer, fresh stop, working fixer and water. I will check the densities of the negative with a density meter. So here I have very good details and shadows which I can print without any loss of the details. Densities of whites and highlights are quite all right. We have a full range of densities and the basic, the base contrast probably will be two or two and a half. Very good negative, almost perfect. Print 50 to 60. This enlarger I have a rough focusing system and plus very fine tuned focusing wheel and I will focus now to the silver grains of the negative. So if the grains are sharp, the whole picture will be sharp. It's a special probe which works like a density meter. And the Highland Electronic split grade controller will, will show me the base contrast for the paper and the base exposure. What it means base? It means that it will be <clears throat> exposure and contrast to keep the details in the shadows and factures in the highlights. No more, no less. It's not a fine art printing, but the picture should be good enough. Test strip to check the base time and contrast and to check the developer. And now we have some picture, some image and fixer. We absolutely have to agitate the paper in the fixer too, like we do when we develop in films, for example, the same with the paper. Now we can switch on the light. So what do we have? Technically, it's a quite all right print. I mean, we have the details in the blacks in the shadows. We have some factures in the highlights, in the clouds, in the mountain with the snow, but uh, boring dull sky, gray sky, which is a lot. Uh, my suggestion to print the whole straight print, the whole sheet of paper without any burning or dodging and then to decide uh, what to do. So now we print on a contrast 3, which is a little bit higher than normal, 11 seconds. And the exposure divided by two times, green light and blue light. This is a split printing. Contrast 3. Dot zero, time, 11 seconds. Again, continuously agitation 
is very important. Technically, the picture is quite all right, with all the details and factures and shadows and, and highlights. But in a way of art, it's a little bit boring and dull, with lots of uh, gray and mid tones. What I'd like to do, I'd like to increase the contrast, contrast in the sky, to darken the sky and. Uh, make the clouds more bright or glowing. I'd like to uh, dodge to show more details here in a path which climbers use and I'd like also to burn, to darken the bottom of this field to stop the eye of uh, the viewers. Okay. Here we have some more tests of burning and dodging and we earn a lot of time because we develop all those tests in one tray. With burning or dodging I can use highest or lowest contrast if I need more factors in the highlights, for example in the snow or clouds, I will use only zero zero or green light or if i need to darken the sky and almost do not touch the clouds to keep it white but darken the sky i will use of course the highest contrast five or blue light now we will see how it works i signed all the tests not to forget how much I increased the time and uh, what contrast or dodge also and now we will try to find the best solutions now another accent to this path of climbers Up to now, my decision to burn half of that stop on the bottom to dodge this area and uh, half of that stop to burn uh, the sky in this corner and maybe one step or maybe 1.2 f-stops in this corner, the whole sky with the clouds. And if you forget uh, what contrast or how many did you burn the time, you can see it here. I like to touch paper and chemicals by my hands very much and now I feel the weight of the paper, the structure, is it matte or glossy and how cold or hot the developer. So now we have more or less final print, it's already fine-tuned print with a new accent here, not only on the mountain which looks like woman's breast, yeah? And uh, with a very beautiful contrast in the sky with a glowing uh, clouds and darken of the sky and uh, 
a lot of new factures here on the mountains and we still have all the details and the highlights and the snow you see some waves and uh, rocks so on here you still can see some grass but it's very dark now and it keep the eye of the viewer here not going uh, from the image probably i will do slightly more dark only in this corner and maybe a little bit here and uh, maybe i will dodge a little bit the clouds slightly and that will be a final print i will print another one it's in any way it's good to print two or three copies uh, to tone it uh, in selenium to sell maybe some of them and uh, it's good for retouching also if you have uh, another print if something will be wrong so but we are almost in the final fine art print and in comparison now it looks quite all right but do you remember what was our start you can see it now it was like the copy of the landscape no more no less but here you see some artistic point of view So the print itself is quite all right, but it's still not the final product. Next steps are uh, selenium toner, then drying, then retouching, matting and framing. Thank you very much. The link to Highland Electronics split grade system below in the description to this video. And please subscribe our YouTube channel. We will shoot more videos about the darkroom.